to another edition of Smart Chat YouTube.com and obviously you guys I'm sure you know that this is a channel of opinion and I want to do a WWE video for you and uh, it's in regards to my thoughts on the um, link that was on PW Mania in regards to a former WWE announcer the title of that article was former WWE announcer says uh, Connor's WWE Hall of Fame induction was driven by strategy and not sincerity. So uh, you kind of have to read the article and I'll post a link to it. Uh, it's pretty long. Uh, pretty long. Um, he wrote, a, Justin Roberts that is, wrote a blog on Medium.com and he talked about his relationship with Connor the Crusher how Connor was accepted into WWE family and his inducting of the WWE of Connor at the Hall of Fame and more. And uh, I'll tell you what, the, um, the account, the blog provided an interesting, uh, you know, an interesting opinion and uh, a lot of people are uh, talking about it. And uh, just some insight, some a uh, little bit details about the article, just to give you an idea. Um, you know, obviously, he says that he's not bitter towards WWE, and he left WWE on good terms. Um, but there are many excerpts that I think it's very important to kind of give you a gist of what this article was about. Um... And he wrote, and here it is, uh, just last year, days before his unfortunate sudden death, the legendary Ultimate Warrior suggested during his Hall of Fame induction speech that WWE should honor the hardworking people who behind, who work behind the scenes at the company. He spoke about those people that work there for, you know, 20, 25, 30 years to have a category in the Hall of Fame where you honor these people. He goes to say on as far as um, Justin Roberts, unfortunately the WWE track record shows that many people who work there and give their lives to the company for 20 to 30 years don't get rewarded. They get released once they've been there too long. Uh, he makes mention about a guy named Mark Eaton who on his 30th anniversary working with the company was let go. He was the guy that worked, uh, he was the bellkeeper, the timekeeper, uh, worked in production of the TV shows, spent all day there, and he actually, at the end of the night, picked up towels from the wrestlers in the locker rooms. You know, he goes on to say there are so many hardworking people behind the scenes. Some lady by the name of Sue, uh, who makes, arranges all of the Make-A-Wish events, um, so he goes on to say, so rather than honor those people that you don't see or hear about who work hard to put on the shows that we all love, the company decided to tell a different story. This year they spliced and spun the Warriors speech to make the award about Warriors outside of the company because that might make for a better story and for better publicity, he goes on to write. It's inspiring to see people helping people. I think it would be appropriate to have a category in the Hall of Fame where you honor these people. That's what Warrior said, but he claims to say that WWE took it, spun it the different way. He goes on to say, no problem. You're going to honor people who help people, soldiers, Special Olympics, Warriors. He says that's not what the warrior was going for in the speech, but again, he's very uh, okay with it. But um, he goes on to say, long story short, is that WWE pretty much did this um, kind of out of, um, the word I'm looking for, out of strategy, not sincerity. So you got to read the, uh, the whole article. And, um, you know... He, at the end of this article, on the blog, he retweeted something that said, um, what was that tweet? It was a tweet by Stephanie McMahon that said, 
philanthropy is the future of marketing. It is the way of brands that are going to win. Now, he goes on to say, um, you know, that he honestly thinks that, again, it was not, you know, driven by sincerity, rather by strategy, part of marketing. If you read the article, and uh, it's an interesting blog, and uh, you hate to think that they only did it to look good. I uh, would hate to think that they're using what the warrior said in a way that maybe was not meant to be and using his family and Connor to do it. You know, and uh, I kind of buy the article. Uh, it's sad, but it's also classic WWE in my opinion. And I guess typical of any business, uh, they capitalize on events, you know, to better position themselves. Uh, for Connor's family, I think WWE was wonderful to him. Don't get me wrong. WrestleMania 30, 2015 Hall of Fame. Those are moments that they will never forget, and they mean so much. But WWE, in my opinion, I think, is a kind of working that poor family in a way. Uh, in the end, they're raising money for a great cause and doing something amazing for Connor. And his family. So it's all good, I guess. But not cool. You know, also to twist Warrior's words make it double not cool. He was talking about a Jimmy Miranda reward, so to speak. Not a PR stunt. So, read the article, read that blog, I'll post the link on it. And you know, basically, again, the whole point of the blog was is that they're taking Warriors words out of context and uh, using it for uh, some type of publicity stunt based on what Roberts is saying uh, You know I gave you my opinion who knows if it's right But it's just an opinion so until next time